Hi there, this is Marty from OwingsArt.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.com. And today we're going to take a look at some tools I use when I'm out sketching, and that is a water brush. These water brushes uh, come in a lot of different sizes and a lot of different formats and stuff like that. But what I want to show you today is these three by the Niji brand, N-I-J-I, um, imported by Kira or I'm sorry, Yasumitomo uh, from San Francisco, and these are made in Japan. So they're imported through this company called Yasutomo, but you can pick them up online just about anywhere. I picked them up at my local art store, uh, Wet Paint in St. Paul, Minnesota, uh, near where I live. But the three sizes I'm going to take a look at today, uh, well, two different sizes and then a different a specialty pen. One is a 9 millimeter or a small, which I use a lot. The other one is a 12 millimeter medium, which I also uh, use quite a bit. And then one I haven't used a lot, but I was interested in picking it up to see how it worked, which is this uh, 12 millimeter uh, flat. It's a wide pen. It's like, uh, like if you were using a magic marker with a chiseled end, that's kind of how this, um, the brush is shaped. These are nylon or synthetic end brushes, and this is a reservoir. So here's how water pens or water brushes work. There's this reservoir in the end where you uh, put the water. It's really easy to add water in these. You just kind of fill up a glass of water, squeeze it a little bit, and as you release, it sucks the water up into it. Or you can just put it under the spigot, squeeze it, and it'll suck the water in as well. And then you've got a full pen full of water uh, that you can cap, and it won't dry out. You can take it anywhere with you, throw it in your kit. And that's what's really great about these water brush pens or water pens is they're, they're really, it's the portability factor. It's being able to take them anywhere and use them anytime and you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, the mess of uh, water uh, or filling up a bunch of watercolor, uh, you know, using your watercolors and filling some container up with uh, murky uh, watercolor paint and then figuring out where you're going to put that after you're done. Everything's self-contained in the pen, and you just, you know, squeeze the water, it comes onto the, fills the brush, and then you just, uh, you know, go to town and paint with it, which is really handy. Um, and, uh, and like I said, I use them quite a bit. Um, so a couple of things about uh, these pens that are interesting, and I'll start out here with the 9 millimeter or small tip. That's the one I use quite a bit. Um, and you know, the, all the water's in the reservoir end. I think you can kind of see it there. And then you just, like I said, you just squeeze the pen and the water comes out. Um, this, this is a synthetic end. Um, so the bristles are a little bit springy. Um, so if you're used to using a traditional like squirrel hair or some kind of a, uh, you know, fancy watercolor brush, you'll notice that th this is a little bit more springy. And the reason I prefer these Niji pens over say uh, like a Pentel is I noticed that the um, that the brush stays springy a little bit longer, and I just like the way the reservoir works in this one and how it's it meters the water. It's kind of regulated as it comes out, so it doesn't it doesn't sort of fill the whole brush and you're you know soaked. So next I'll try the 12 millimeter or the medium one, and like I say, I use both of these quite a bit. You can get very fine lines because, like I said, there's a a very fine uh, point on the end of these. Unless, of course, you're going to try the flat, which is the next thing I'm going to do, which is kind of a new, uh, a new thing for me. It's got that chiseled end like a marker. So you can see there, you kind of it's like a traditional uh, big wall paintbrush or something. And, but you can use the edge to get very fine lines, which I think are, is cool as well. So like in architectural sketching or rendering, it's nice to be able to, to get that consistent line work in there and stuff. So I, I think I'll use this pen um, quite a bit. And I almost forgot to mention, you can use uh, ink wash or ink, water-soluble inks in these pens as well, and lots of people do that. Um, you can buy lots of different kinds of pens to use with that uh, type of ink, but yeah, this, it works good. Uh, these pens work good for that as well, and you just dip the pen in the ink, squeeze it, and then it sucks the ink right up into the reservoir, just like it would if you had water, and and that's how that works. So I really like this wide-tipped uh, brush, and um, I think I'll I'll use this quite a bit in my work. Um, so that's been really a, a, a look at the, a quick look at these uh, Niji water brush or water pens 
um, you know, and they're imported again from Japan. Um, I love the springy uh, synthetic uh, tips on these. Um, it works really well and uh, they're pretty reliable. The water comes out in a nice flow and I've just had really good luck with them. All right, well, thanks for stopping by today. And if you, if you haven't had a chance to interact on the channel, please leave a comment or a question. We have um, a whole community of people, including myself, who love to interact with other artists, answer questions, talk about and discuss art. So if you haven't gone through the comments yet, scroll down and do that. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, please do so. Uh, love new subscribers and to have uh, new, new folks join Join the uh, OwingsArt.com art revolution <laughs> or, or just uh, get to know art supplies. All right. Well, thanks again for stopping by. Have a great day. For OwingsArt.com, this has been Marty. So long, everybody.